Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to our video. So, um, yesterday we already finished chapter 5. We just um, review again in unit 6. And today we will study chapter 6 together. This is our last chapter. And um, chapter 6, we're gonna learn about my fox tails. Unit 1, the hand and the chicks. Khmer folk tales mean um, rương prot đất đã mau pi mình nu. Folk cứ mean ai tham mình nu. Um, tales cứ rương, rương bật đất để cái um, tai mèo. Okay? So, um, in this video, as I told you before, I will speak more English. And I will not translate um, the vocabulary words for you because we already know um, some many not some many words already and also the conversation we're not gonna translate okay so in this um, chapter we will speak more English so that you can practice listening in English okay so um, in this unit Unit 1, the hen and its chicks. Vocabulary, we have six words. So, word number one, yard. Word number two, hen. Word number three, ground. Word number four, eagle. Word number five, chicks. And word number six, we have nest. All right, so these are um, vocabulary words we're going to learn today. I'm not gonna translate in Khmer for you, but I will show you the picture so that you can understand also when you look at the picture. Okay, so word number one, please listen to me. Yard. Yard. Word number two, hen. Hen. Word number three, ground. Ground. And word number four, eagle. Word number five, chicks. And word number six, nest. Listen one more time. Yard, hen, ground, eagle, chicks, and nest. All right. So um, now please repeat after me. Yard, yard, hen, hen, ground, ground, eagle, eagle, chicks, chicks, nest, nest, all right? So I will show you the picture. Okay, this is yard, picture number one. You can look like this, okay? So yard where um, the place like um, at the back of your house and we have like grass, something like that. Okay. So um, yeah, it's called yard. Like if um, the backyard, for example, um, there's um, the back of your house, they have a, a big land and then have a grass, they call it yard, okay? And hen. Hen is um, another word, like um, a female chicken. Female chicken. We know the word chicken, right? We already learned the word chicken, so... Hen is 
uh, female chicken, okay? And ground, ground, ground is where you um, step on and have land, something like that. We stand on it, it's called ground. And eagle, eagle is a big um, bird that always, um, yeah, we learn about, later we will learn about eagle and chickens, hens, something like that. It catch um, the chicks also, okay? And chicks, chick is the small chickens, the baby chickens, okay? So we call it chicks. Nest, nest um, is uh, where the birds stay for example if we have um, like birds and then they will lay egg on that and on, um, on the tree they have kind of circle they 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 um they made their own nest also birds okay so now let's read one more time together yard hen ground eagle chicks nest all right so um these are our our um, vocabulary words today so we're gonna go to the next letter letter b spelling as we know even though i'm not translating in kamai for you but um we still do the um the spelling so that you can um remember what the word how to write okay so now let's um spell each word together first yard spell y a r d yard hand spell h e n hen ground spell g r o u n d ground eagle spell e a g l e eagle chick spell c h i c k s chicks um, if only one chick, you can say just say chick, but if more chick, you say chicks, okay? Nest, nest spell N-E-S-T, nest. All right, so let's read again so that um, we just like exercise our brain and we also um, can memorize. Yard, hen, ground, eagle, chicks, nest. So this is the way we spell, um, like our um, lesson before, if someone wants you to spell the word for them, they will say, can you spell, for example, the word yard? Can you spell um, the word yard, please? Or um, if um, somebody asks you, and then you will spell for them, you will say this word again, Yard spell and then we will say um, each letter. Okay, for example, yard spell Y A R D. Yard. Okay, please spell the word hen. Hen spell H E N. Hen. Please spell the word ground. Ground spell. G R O U N D ground. Please spell the word eagle. Eagle spell E A G L E eagle. Please spell the word chicks. Chicks spell C H I C K S chicks. Last, please spell the word nest. Nest spell N E S T nest. All right. So this is the way that um, we spell and we ask someone to spell the word for ask. Okay. So um, if, for example, 
like if you want me to spell the word um, my name not the word for example if um, you want me to spell uh, my name can you please or please spell your name okay so I will spell my name so I will say my name first then I will spell it for example my name is uh, Miriam so Miriam spell M I R I A M Miriam okay all right so now let's um, do another practice I will erase the words some words because um, we have six words so I will erase three words first then we will um, practice spelling together and also I will write on the whiteboard if you want you can do it on your notebook also so I'll erase the word yard ground <clears throat> and nest all right so now let's practice together with writing please spell the word yard so yard spell Y A R D yard please spell the word ground ground spell G R O U N D ground okay this one please spell the word what is this word nest nest spell N S T nest all right now we will erase another three words and try to spell together again okay this time we will erase the word hen eagle and chicks okay hen eagles and chicks so um, after yard we have the word hen now please spell the word hen hen spell h e n hen please spell the word um, eagle eagle spell e a g l e eagle and last word please spell the word chicks chick spell c h i c k s chicks okay good job everybody now let's read together yard hen ground eagle chicks nest okay now this time I will ask you to spell and then I will, I'll erase this. Um, excuse me, I'll copy this. Please spell the word. And then here blank, um, you can say the word that you want um, others to spell for you. And then you can say the blank, it means um, that word again. And then you say, oh, I forgot. Spell. All right, um, so for example, if you want um, someone to spell the word for you, you can say this. Please spell the word. For example, um, hen. Please spell the word hen. And then you will say that word again. Hen, spell. And then you will say it um, in each letter. For example, like this. H-E-N. Okay. So, um, I'll erase these words. And we'll do spelling. All right. So please um, get your pen or pencil and your notebook. 
I'll call each word to, uh, to let you spell, okay? Um, please spell, word number one, please spell the word eagle. Eagle. Word number two, please spell the word chicks. Chicks. Word number three, please spell the word nest. Nest. Number four, please spell the word hen. Hen. And number five, please spell the word um, yard. Yard. Last word, please spell the word ground. Ground. All right, now I will repeat one more time. Um, eagle, or number one, eagle. Number two, chicks. Number three, nest. Number four, hen. Number five, yard. And number six, ground. All right, now let's, um, let's check together if you do it right or not. So, um, we'll check together. So, word number one is eagle. Okay. And word number two is chicks. Word number three, nest. Word number four, hen. Number five, yard. And number six, um, ground. So please check if you do it right. I'll just do this. Check like this. And if you want to take a picture of your works, and send it um, to the comment. You can do it also so that um, we can help you check, okay? So good job, everybody. So this is all about spelling. So we'll go to letter C conversation. I'll erase this. Okay, let's read one last time, okay? Eagle, chicks, nest, hen, yard, and ground. All right. I'll jump to conversation. Oh, this one is letter B, sorry, not letter C. So spelling is letter B. Okay, um, not C, I just do it wrong. Okay, so C, conversation. Hmm, I'll do it here. Right, conversation. So I'll write down the conversation into the whiteboard and you can write down or copy from me into your notebook also, okay? So now I will start. Okay, number one, hi, what are you do what are you reading, Mita? Hi. What are you reading? Nita, I'm reading the Khmer Folk Tales. I'm reading. The Khmer Falk Tail. Oh, this is L. Um, then, what stories are you reading?
I'm reading the story about the hen and its chicks. It's chick. Can you summarize the story? Okay, you know when the hen found food, it called its babies. Um, and it went there was, and when it, it is there, I don't know, um, I'll tell you later, just copy first, um, when it, and it went there was, hmm. There was an eagle it it babies hide under its wings. Under its wings. What did the story educate us? It educated us that all mothers All mothers always take care at their children. Always take care um now my two teeth we have only one more line can I see okay um so I like the story.
All right, so this is our stories, I mean, our, our conversation today. So I will put this one, A, B, A, B, A, B, and this one, A, and B. Okay, so this is our con uh, the conversation that we're going to learn today. Um, so uh, first, I want you to listen to me first. Just listen to me, I'll read for you. So conversation. Hi, what are you reading, Nita? I'm reading the Khmer Folk Tales. What stories are you reading? I'm reading about the hen and its chicks. Can you summarize the story okay you know when the hen found food it called its babies and it when there was eagle an eagles so an eagles no s here um it babies hide under its wings what did the story educate us it educated us that all mothers always take care mm, sorry take care of what um, we still have one more line here take care at their children Oy, sorry here at their children so I like the story I hope you all can see because you have no more space okay um, I'll read this one again it educated us that all mothers always take care of their children. So I like the story. Okay, so now please um, repeat after me. Hi, what are you reading, Nita? I'm reading the Khmer Folk Tales. What stories are you reading? I'm reading about the hen and its chicks. Can you summarize the story? Um, okay. You know when the hen found food? It called its baby and it when there was an eagle it um, babies hide under its wings what did you what did the story educate us? It educated us that all mothers always take care at their children. So I like the story. Okay, so we already um, finished uh, 
you already repeat after me and today we have no translate summarize um sorry summarize i forgot the letter is here summarize okay so now let's um read one more time but this time we're gonna read together hi what are you reading nita i'm reading the kumai fox tales um what stories are you reading i'm reading about the hen and its chicks and can can you summarize the story okay you know when the hen found food it called its babies and it when there was an eagle its babies hide under its wings what did the story educate us it educated us that all mothers always take care of their of their children so i like the story okay so this story is um a good story even though it's a um fox tail story but um we can learn from the story each story have a lesson so um in this story that um nita read nita um is is reading um it's educate educate mean like what we can learn from the story what the story uh, wants to tell us okay so tell us about a mothers mother always take good care of um the children like protect the children take care and then um yeah and nita like this story a lot me too i like it because um it's remind us about um our mother and as a mother that we love um um our children or kids or um even though we don't you don't have for for uh, me i don't have any children yet but um it um can tell us that my mother is always take good care of me and protected me okay and so in this story in this conversation we we'll just end here um tomorrow we will continue again um in letter d we will go to um language focus but today we will just end here okay so see you no not tomorrow see you on monday god bless you